Harrison Butker, the tremendous kicker for the Kansas City Chiefs, um, gave a speech, was it this past weekend, I guess, at Benedictine College in Kansas. It's a Catholic school, Catholic college in Kansas. What is it? What was the name of that school? Benedictine or Benedictine. Benedictine, I don't know the correct pronunciation, but it's Benedictine College, a private Catholic liberal arts school in Kansas. And it's become very controversial. Um, He addressed things like LGBTQ, abortion, uh, Joe Biden, President Joe Biden, uh, and women uh, being homemakers. Here's a brief, uh, and he's being criticized for it by a lot of people. Here is a snippet on what he said at Benedictine College. For the ladies present today, congratulations on an amazing accomplishment. You should be proud of all that you have achieved to this point in your young lives. I want to speak directly to you briefly because I think it is you, the women, who have had the most diabolical lies told to you. How many of you are sitting here now about to cross this stage and are thinking about all the promotions and titles you are going to get in your career? Some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world, but I would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world. I can tell you that my beautiful wife, Isabel, would be the first to say that her life truly started when she began living her vocation as a wife and as a mother. I'm on this stage today and able to be the man I am because I have a wife who leans into her vocation. I'm beyond blessed with the many talents God has given me, but it cannot be overstated that all of my success is made possible because a girl I met in band class back in middle school would convert to the faith, become my wife, and embrace one of the most important titles of all, homemaker. All right, Rob, the NFL um, released a statement saying that uh, here's here's – from Jonathan Bean, NFL Senior Vice President and Chief Diversity and Inclusion Officer, he re- released this statement saying, Harrison Butker gave a speech in his personal capacity. His views are not those of the NFL as an organization. The NFL is steadfast in our commitment to inclusion, which only makes our league stronger. Uh, there's petitions, at least one, trying to get Harrison Butker fired from the NFL. <laughs> Uh, it's got 100,000-plus signatures. Wow, that's not going to work. I think that's ridiculous. Th- that's his views. He was speaking at a Catholic university. Now, I haven't heard the whole speech, but what we just listened to and, and other parts, he's, those are Catholic beliefs. If he can't go to a Catholic school and, and say what are traditional Catholic beliefs that have been held for 2000 plus years or 2000 years what, what what's the what what's wrong with it? I wouldn't expect somebody to go to an LGBT uh event and say something that was not in line with their beliefs so I don't I don't I don't have any issue with what he said in what we just heard as I well, don't you didn't think hear the he whole said, thing no you didn't hear right, the whole thing right but I, I mean, what you I'm saying be careful right. with that no, I, I I said I didn't hear the whole okay. thing. This thing that know, we if, just played. Right. I don't know if that's the piece that that the NFL wants well, to distance some people are, say, of, are from. I'm just so saying. So what is the piece then? Well, and there's some stuff they said there was some uh, homophobic stuff or what. I didn't hear the whole thing too, but I, from from what I read, there were other things in the speech that people had traditional issue with. Catholic beliefs. Okay. Well, here, let me don't let me, support LGBTQ. Lifestyles. Okay, that's a traditional Catholic belief. Okay, let me let me. Say and so, that. if he's saying that at a Catholic university, then that's that's Catholic. Okay, here here's the. Issue. Are we saying Catholics can't play in the NFL? No, no. Catholics here's, can't rape. Here, here's their mind? the issue, though, Chris. Here's the issue. I think you have a you have a problem with the NFL issuing a statement. Correct? Is that what your issue? No, is? no. They can say. In okay. fact, I say no. Let me say something. Okay. You ask me yeah, a question. I'm asking. That's what the I want to know. The statement. I actually think that the statement is good when it says the NFL is committed to inclusion. But that inclusion includes Catholics who feel the way that Harrison Butker do. It includes Christians. 
and Muslims and Orthodox Jews who believe similar things to Harrison Bucker, and it includes LGBTQ people. We are in a pluralistic society where so many people have different viewpoints, different uh, lifestyles, different beliefs, and we are going to have to learn how to respect one another and let them have their views. And some people say they want tolerance, but what they really want is applause. And some, I'm not applauding certain things. And other Based people, on another, my faith, right, another, I'm not applauding. Hold another, on, let me, let me finish. Based on my faith, I am not going to applaud certain lifestyles. Now, and some people are not going to applaud my beliefs and my lifestyle. And I can live with that. And you should be, not you personally, but the person on the other side, you should be able to live with it too. We have to coexist, respect one another and all that, but we have to accept that some of us are going to have different beliefs, different different views of what's right and wrong, and we're just going to have to figure out how to live together. Here's the only issue I have, is that he doesn't just represent himself, even in that circumstance, in public. He wears a uniform that says Kansas City Chiefs. He also, Chris, is a, is a working member of the NFL. And it's never about morality and, and anything. It's, a, it's financial. That's why they'll distance himself against Kyrie. They'll distance himself against this guy. Uh, when, when David, David the NFL did – oh, go ahead. I'm, I'm just saying, when David Stern – uh, wouldn't allow Allen Iverson to put out that rap album with all the profanity and homophobic stuff and all the stuff that went in there. He it wasn't a morality thing about whether he cares or not. He didn't want the league to be hurt financially. That's the only reason that these leagues come out and distance themselves or at least put out a statement because – Right. They want to include. Let, let, they want to, and people talk about. They oh, want to include no, people they, like Harrison Butker. They, they want everybody, is what I'm saying. They okay. don't. They, they, but they don't. They do not want to alienate anybody. And I'll give you a perfect example, and you guys can look it up. Anita Bryan. When people talk about what do they call this now? Where they where you get um, put out? What, what is it called, Chris? Uh, where, cancel. Where, yeah, when you get canceled. The, the cancel culture. People think that this is something new. Go look up Anita Bryan, who was the biggest uh, endorser of Tropicana orange juice. Okay? The biggest. She was a star on all the commercials of Tropicana orange juice, Chris, was about Anita Bryan. She went to some anti-gay rally or whatever. This is in the 70s. And Tropicana fired her. And you say, is that fair? Well, that's against her belief or whatever. Tropicana's statement was very simple. We are here to sell orange juice to everybody. Fuzzy Zeller made fried chicken and collard green jokes about Tiger Woods. He's just joking around. What's the big deal? Guess what? K. Marta, who was his sponsor, said, thank you. No, thank you. And they fired him. Because they're not trying to alienate, well, and all joke, I'm, all you're talking I'm, all about I'm saying, jokes versus two thousand uh, no, years I'm talking of about, I'm, No, I'm talking about. No, I mean that's what you literally okay. just did. Can, was can I talk? That. Can I talk? No, I'm just saying. All right, I'm, just I'm trying to. Can I talk? And my, my point is that it's about financial. It ain't about morality. These guys, these owners, and these people in the league, they're not. It's not about morality or upholding well, people's you, you beliefs. Well, you seem to think it's that financial. Any, That's so all. So you just gonna kowtow to the beliefs Chris, of the organization gonna, you work to for? Chris, if I, I work, that, at, I, work at, I work at Fox Sports Radio, okay. And if I get up the same way that there's certain things you would not say on the air or get on a soapbox and talk about how you're against homo, uh, 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 homosexuality. That's not the platform that we're doing. Would you do that on the show? He wasn't on I'm the asking show. You, he was at I'm a at, Catholic no, university. I'm, at, I'm talking. Now about, you don't have to ask me I'm that. At, right. You can you can listen to the show with me every night. I'm talking. And you know I haven't said that. Right, because that that's not the place and what we're doing, and that's not what Fox but Sports Radio. But he was not on a radio show. He, he was re- at. Hold he, on, just that the NFL said he made a speech in his personal capacity, and guess and he why? was at a Catholic. Okay, that's all I'm saying. 
It's fine. He was at a Catholic Why did school. they? All right, it's a private. Why did they put out a statement? If it's private, it doesn't well, matter. Well, I'm wondering I'm t- why. Because it's financial. They do not well, okay. want to alienate people, Chris. That's the only point I'm trying to that's, get through. That's fine. That's okay. fine. But I wonder why they didn't release a statement on Aaron Rodgers suggesting that Jimmy Kimmel was tied in with a pedophile, uh, Jeffrey Epstein. Did, did that have a bottom line? Would that, was that, would that alienate people from uh, going to NFL games? That might not. Okay, but that, no, that did That's Rogers, why. Aaron Rodgers promoting a, an illegal, a drug that's illegal in the United States, ayahuasca. What about that? Would that? Could that have a bottom line? Or people saying, I don't want, this guy's promoting drug use. I don't want my kids, you know, following him. That, that could have something on the bottom line. You show, Aaron Rodgers, you show, you show, it's you been show reported. Me. Now, he, Aaron Rodgers denied it, but CNN rep- said, some people said, he he said Sandy Hook never existed. I mean, they ain't released statements about any of this stuff. His anti-vax stance. I'm just saying, like, I, you know, and, and I, look, I said their statement, I like that they want inclusion Don, and diversity. Donald Sterling. But that inclusion and diversity includes people who have a religious faith that doesn't agree with certain lifestyles that are now being promoted in America. Donald Sterling. That's just the truth. And and we should have just as much right to be here in America and live our lives as anyone else. Nobody says you don't. Respect, Nobody says you don't. Well, if they want to fire Harrison Bucker. They're clearly Chris. saying he can't. They, but, but Chris, he's not going to get fired over no, that. But, it but doesn't there matter. Are, there are 100,000 people out there, Rob, who want him fired? Chris, and probably more. There's 330 million people. So Rob, what? I'm just saying. I'm just saying that you're sitting here saying that he can live his life. Yes, he should be able to live his life and work. Chris, and work for the Kansas City would, Chiefs. Would you would you agree that when you represent Trevor Bauer is not in baseball for what reason, Chris? Man, you comparing this I'm, dude no. to Trevor Bauer? I'm just asking you why. I'm, is, gonna, I'm not even entertaining. Why? Trevor because Trevor Bauer didn't Trevor break Bauer any law, right? was beating up a woman. But he didn't go to jail and there were no charges on him. Chris, he's not playing. You know why? You got a lot of nerve because comparing the organization, Trevor Bauer no. to what this dude my point said is, at a Catholic My school. point is that an organization <laughs> doesn't want a guy like that on their franchise because he represents them even though there were no formal charges. Everything was dropped. That's like my I said, point. I'm not even entertaining that. My point is what Trevor Bauer was doing it's financial. is not That's is all. not is not what Trevor Bauer's doing is not comparable to a man giving a speech. Now again, I have not heard the entire speech. I'm going off the snippet we heard. I'm going off the reports that he spoke out against abortion. Catholicism is against abortion. I'm going off of that. And I'm saying if he he should have a right to go to a Catholic school where that's what they believe and address those beliefs. In other words, otherwise we can't have people go to church and, and follow the Bible. We can't have Muslims go to uh temple and, and, and follow the, the, the Quran. We can have Jews go to synagogue and follow the, the Torah. Nah, pluralism don't, tolerance don't go one way. Tolerism is both ways. I don't expect you to applaud me. Don't expect me to applaud you, but I will tolerate you and you should tolerate me.